I've seen a lot of people on YouTube using these uh, types of battery cell testing boxes. You can see ones that have one or two or three or four slots for the cells. So I thought I would pick one up so that I can test the capabilities of my new Chinese cells. Now, China always has a bit of a shoddy reputation for quality, so I'm just hoping my cells are good based on the contact I've had with the company, but it's always good to actually test it and see what happens. So I thought I would order one of these. This one seems to be one that a lot of people have purchased. Now it, it holds a huge number of different types of cells. 18650 is the most common, but I need it to hold a 2170 or 21700. So this says it can take 26 wide, which is good. I need 21. And this says 20170. I think that's a typo. I think it should be 21700, but I don't know. So you can see it comes in lots of different styles. Here they mention it by color, which is actually just different packaging of options. So this one comes with a wall charger and the unit and only two uh, batteries. This one comes with a car charger, but the one I got was the one that comes with four cells and a wall uh, charger or a wall power plug. I don't need the car charger. So for the low, low price of $17.84, it was on the way to me from China. Now let's see how everything turned out. And here is the spec sheet again for uh, people new to my channel from the GSL Energy, which is where I bought all my cells. It is their IFR 21700-4000 MAH, and this is the number we're looking at, 4000, the magic amount of energy that you can put into the cell. And if we scroll down, scroll down, we can see that it's 21 by 70 millimeters and we scroll down and standard capacity 4,000 milliamp hours uh, at 0.5 C which is 2 amps which is lovely uh, or and they also specify that their capacity range that is acceptable to their specs is 3950 to 4250 milliamp hours so let's check it out and see how that stands up. And as you can see here, after 7 hours and 59 minutes of a full discharge, charge, and discharge cycle, we are at 4,046 milliamp hours, which makes me so happy. Not that it's just over 4,000, but it actually made it. I would have been happy with 3,900 maybe even 3,800, given the um, basic lies in the, the, uh, in the battery world these days. But to actually hit the mark and go a little bit over is uh, beyond happiness for me. So let's just keep plugging on with this battery pack and uh, build it up and get it in the bike. As you stare out on my beach, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video so YouTube thinks I'm worthy again. And I have so many people on my channel that they'll give me 10 cents a day in ad revenue. So I thank you for that.